Shalom. Keeping all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Mukakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which I learned this truth. Shalom to the Akiam, pushing this truth and faith in sincerity. I'm at work right now, I'm at break, you know. Um, I was really meditating on uh, certain things. Um, sorry. You know, in regards to like uh, the state that us Jake are living in, man. You know, um, s speaking as a so-called Jamaican, right? Um, our people, man, like most of the time they don't really want to know uh, the truth or history or anything that's got to do with, you know, um, who we are, man. Like they, they rather, um, you know, think about things of this world. Um, you know, vanity, you know, um, brothing as I like to say, go out, drink, drunk, go party, um, take other people, woman, and boast about it, you know, um, warring, shooting each other, and all of these things. Anything that's got to do with the truth, um, Yahweh Bashim, our shy, the scriptures, most of the time they don't want to hear it, man. And um, especially in regards to like um, history, man, um, during slavery times, man. And a lot of people like to say, um, I should forget slavery. Slavery happened, we should forget slavery. But speaking as a, as a Jamaican, so-called Jamaican, like the effects of um, slavery is still around us. Um, mentally, definitely. Um, physically, definitely. But in regards to not even just mentally I think about it on like on just a like a normal level in regards to like the food we eat you know Jamaicans a lot of Jamaicans like to eat um, chicken neck chicken buck turkey neck chicken foot oxtail cow foot yeah and all of these things were basically um, the leftovers that the, our slave masters used to give us. They would take the good parts, they would take the leg, the thigh, the breast, the chicken breast, the chicken leg, the ch chicken thigh, you know, all of these things, and then they will give us the chicken neck, the chicken back, the turkey neck, you know, um, they will give us the liver, the kidney, you know, and these are all of these things that Jamaicans like to eat now. They don't even know that that is where that come from. That came from us eating chicken foot, even oxtail, for example, yeah? Obviously, you know, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 7 verse 6 says, um, we are a chosen people, paraphrasing, um, 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 the Lord has chosen us to be a special people unto himself. And that's right, because even when they give us their oxtail, which is basically what they don't want, yeah? Whatever they, do, whatever on the, the, the meat that they don't want, they'll give it to us. And we basically made oxtail into a delicacy around the world. Everyone likes to eat oxtail, man. When they go to the Caribbean restaurant, they want oxtail. And oxtail right now is very expensive. Why is it expensive? Because we've basically made it into a beautiful thing. We basically, when we season it and cook it down, it tastes beautiful. Okay, but they, that's something they never wanted before. Esau never wanted that in during slavery times. They gave to us. Now you find Esau in the Caribbean restaurants buying oxtail, you know. And that's an example, like... Though those are the things we live, we're still living off it. Why? Because that is what we got from slavery, and that is what we know. For example, the term blood clot. Blood clot was actually started in slavery. Um, that is what they used um, for the um, the women used to use uh, for their periods. So they used to call it blood clot because you know after they take the the cloth the the cloth out you know it was full of blood from the period so that's why they used to call it blood clot and now we use blood clot as a term a lot of jamaicans we ask them what does blood clot mean where does the blood clot come from they can't tell you you know so even though they like to say oh that was in the past forget about it but the effects of slavery and, and the aftermath of slavery still exist around us today the food we eat the words we say you know the things we do man so that is what really i was meditating on i said i wanted to share it um, so my people can understand that hey, you know history if you don't know where you're coming from You don't know where you're going. 
if you don't know who you are, if you don't know you're an Israelite, if you don't know um, that you know you're an Israelite, if you don't know um, that it was prophesied in the scriptures that you're going to get put into slavery and that prophecy came to pass, if you don't know all these things, history, and history is in the scriptures as well, if you don't know all these things, then you don't know where you're going to go. You, you, you won't know um, what Esau is planning to do to, 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 to us. Because if you don't know you're an Israelite, then you won't know what's coming, man. If you don't know where you're coming from, you don't know where you're going. So I just wanted to say that quickly. Um, with that, I'm going to say, All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, 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 Ba'ashim,